flu season has arrived. So I'm sure you're going to be wondering soon, are the symptoms that you're having, cough, fever, maybe runny nose, is it flu? Is it RSV? Is it COVID? Well, some good news, it's pretty easy to find that out now. And the reason why is because of some new panel tests. So to help provide some insights, I've gone straight to the source. Dr. Brian Cavaney is the chief medical officer and president of LabCorp Diagnostics. Brian, thanks for joining me again. It's good to see you. So good to be with you, Dr. White, and thank you for the great reporting that you've done throughout this pandemic. It's amazing the number of my physician friends who've said that they routinely watch these videos and read content uh, on, on, the, on the website so that they can stay up to date on what, you know, what the real evidence is saying and what the science is, is, is progressing. You and I first talked last year, uh, really in the height of the COVID pandemic, and since then, a lot has happened, and I kind of referenced this testing that you all have created at LabCorp. Can you walk us through what it does and, and what patients should know? Sure. So almost a year ago, we were able to get an FDA emergency use authorization for a variety of combination panels to help doctors and other clinicians determine what respiratory pathogen their symptomatic patient may have. Uh, including a combination of COVID, of course, as well as influenza A, influenza B, and RSV, or respiratory syncytial virus. As we all know, there was virtually no flu season last year because most places were on lockdown, many schools were virtual, uh, people weren't going to work, and so there wasn't much social mixing taking place. But we sure have seen an increase, particularly in RSV, over the past couple of months, uh, and we are unfortunately expecting, as many schools are back in person this fall, as people are preparing to do more holiday travel over the coming month or two, there is likely to be a resurgence of influenza as well. So we need to be able to find those. We, we have a variety of combination tests that are available for doctors to test their patients uh, among those, those four respiratory pathogens. Now, each of, each of them needs to be individually clinically indicated, uh, mm -hmm. and that's why we have all of the different combinations. So of course, mainly pediatricians and maybe urgent cares taking care of kids that might want the one including RSV, um, or ki kids under two in particular, kids with immunocompromising conditions or taking medications that might impact their immune system. There has been a pretty significant increase in RSV over the past month. And we have been seeing more RSV in older adults as well. As you point out, we primarily see it in children, but there are instances where we're starting to see it in adults as well. So I wanna ask you, um, is it all one swab? How does it work? Yes, that we're trying to make it as fast and convenient for the doctor or nurse or whoever's doing the swab as possible. First, they make the clinical decision based on seeing the patient, what needs to be tested for, what is clinically indicated, perhaps what's circulating in their local community. And then with just one swab instead of multiple, um, then, then we can uh, test for each of the pathogens that they have ordered as part of the panel for that particular patient, easier for the patient, easier for the clinician, and then we get the result back to them using PCR technology. Right now, you still need to have a doctor's order. Is that correct? One can't go to a LabCorp facility, him or herself, and say, I want the test. Is that correct? That is possible for COVID only under a variety of situations, and many of those over-the-counter at-home tests are available at retail pharmacies or from our website, for example. The combination test um, currently needs to be ordered by a clinician. We have actually submitted the application to the FDA for a fully at-home consumer-initiated, not over-the-counter, but a consumer-initiated uh, methodology where we would be able to provide a valid physician prescription uh, suitable for your state. Okay. So in fairness, Dr. <laughs> Gassman, some people aren't going to really understand what that means. So it, it is, as you point out, a, a PCR test, correct? So right. it's not like a rapid test. So just walk us back one more time. So OTC over the counter really means 
they go to pharmacy, they order online, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they pick it up and they have it and they m do self-collection and they still could may or may not, you know, send it back. So, so tell us what consumer initiated means. Consumer initiated would be a person, let's say they have symptoms or they've been exposed to a known, a, a known positive case, then they would be able to, for example, go on our website, um, Pixel by LabCorp, and fill out a clinical questionnaire if they're appropriate to be tested for COVID, then we would be able to provide the physician prescription applicable for their state, and then they could get the test at home. That is not currently available for the combination panel, including influenza and RSV. Uh, we have submitted that to the FDA. We hope that it becomes available after we go through that process. So what type of impact do you think this single panel test will have? especially as the fall approaches, weather starts to, to get colder, we're inside more. You think this is gonna have a big impact? If we do see a surge in influenza over the coming months, and in particular, I'm worried about vaccine fatigue, uh, as you've been reporting on, and then whether people need a COVID-19 booster shot for, doctors to have the difficult conversations to say, I also want you to get a flu shot and we want to space it out between your COVID shots, your booster shot, et cetera. I'm a little worried that the flu vaccine uptake will be low this year, and that might be the perfect storm set up for a resurgence of influenza. If that takes place, then uh, we believe doctors will want to rule out COVID for sure, but also potentially test for influenza in a person where they might be considering using one of the antiviral medications uh, in order to definitively determine whether that patient has flu. But will they get the test results back soon enough compared to some of the rapid tests that they ordered as part of this panel? We, we have had many conversations with our physician customers exactly around that and the time window for starting o ozoltamivir and some of the other medications. Uh, we are priming our labs to be as efficient as we possibly can make them uh, in order to turn those tests around as fast as possible to get that information to doctors. Many urgent cares, of course, even pre-COVID have rapid flu testing mechanisms, and that is still probably going to be part of the screening protocol if they see a symptomatic patient and they're circulating influenza in their community, and in particular if that person had not been vaccinated for the flu, or if there's not a good match between the strains in the quadrivalent vaccine and the ones that we identify as circulating throughout the community this fall. Do you feel physicians know enough about the single panel test? We're having uh, conversations with our customers. We're trying to create um, some, some work on our website and in information that we provide to ordering physicians around uh, the unfortunate nature that many of the symptoms of all of these different respiratory pathogens, including regular cold viruses, adenoviruses, rhinoviruses, have annoyingly similar symptoms. It's very difficult for doctors to determine viral versus bacteria and then whether it's something that there is a clinical reason to test for it versus treat somebody symptomatically. We're trying to help through those. As, as you know, Dr. White, very few signs and symptoms are pathognomonic for a specific pathogen. Um, one that is potentially helpful is an acute loss of taste or smell is probably COVID-19 until proven otherwise. That's probably the presumptive. And we believe many doctors will test just for COVID-19 if the patient presents with that symptom. Uh, but for some of these others, you know, nothing is going to replace the 3,000 year old good patient history, knowing your patient, knowing their, their medical history, and then figuring out what you think the clinical indication is for the test. Well, the single panel test is certainly going to be another tool in our toolbox as we work to fight the COVID pandemic, as well as influenza and RSV this fall and winter. Dr. Cavani, thanks for taking the time again uh, to share your insights. My pleasure. Thank you, Dr. White. And if you have questions about coronavirus, drop us a line. You can email me at drjohn at webmd.net. Thanks for watching.